All right, so I'm here with Wela. Wela, how old are you? I'm 58. 58. Are you originally from Arizona? Yes. What part of AZ? This way here, up west. Up what? Up here, down the street. I live right there. And I, my, my, I live in Cass too, but I don't really live there. You don't live there? What's your current situation right now? Are you homeless? Yes. How did you end up homeless? Because of the law. The law, everything, most of likely. What happened with the law? <laughs> Something that you don't even do, they, they caught you with it. Yeah. Nothing. It wasn't even me. It's called identity theft. And did you do time or you got arrested yes. or something like that? Yeah. <clears throat> yes, I sure did. What were you arrested for? Infinity theft, I said. Okay. And after that, what, your life started going downhill? Very much. Seven months, losing everything. My mom, you name it. Yeah. Sorry to hear that. Um, what do you do out here to survive? Go here and there. Hang out with the homeless people. Yeah. They, they know more than I do. Who does the homeless? Yeah. Okay, it's over. Mm -hmm. Can we done? Where, where do you sleep right now? Like, where do you sleep at night? By the railroad tracks. By the railroad tracks? Is it dangerous out there? No, you just sleep like a little ways up that way. Do you still have family out here in Arizona? Yeah. I don't want to depend on them. You have uh, siblings, kids, anything like that? No. Nah. No? Not, not, not here, not in Phoenix. Not in Phoenix? Do you keep in contact with them? Yeah. And do they know about your current situation, about you being homeless? So, so, yeah. I don't really say nothing. What do they tell you? Do they tell you to come, come back home or try to get you off the streets? No, they don't say nothing, really. Nothing. But just happy to see me, see I hear my hear my boys or whatever, you know. They're so happy. So you have kids? No. You don't, you don't have kids? I have nothing in my niece. Okay. And grandkids. Grandkids too? But you don't have any kids? Mm -mm. Okay. So those are your niece and nephews kids, but you consider them your grandkids? So, what else do you do out here to survive, to hustle? Like hold the sign, pick up cans, clean up a lot of neighborhood or whatever, you know. Sometimes I have to go help elders. Sometimes I have to go and hold the sign again. Whatever, you know. Do you do any substances? Mm -mm. So, you don't mess with the blues mm -mm. everybody out here is on that on the blues out here oh yeah i know yeah it stinks does it are you around a lot of people that mess with the blues yeah 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 they do What's the hardest thing about being homeless? The baddest thing to, to be homeless? The hardest thing of being homeless. Having stole everything from your wallet, your food stamp card, whatever wallet, very important papers. My tape on my phone, laptop. I just start all over again. So you had all that stuff when you were out here and homeless? 
Yeah, I let I had it for a, a safe place, a safe place. But I don't even trust them people no more. Yeah, I don't trust anybody. Is it hard to trust people out here? Oh yeah. Yeah, they sure love you. I love you. I love you, Willa. I love you. Oh, I care about you. Oh, I want to give you a kiss. Oh, thank you, Willa. Oh, yeah. We're the only one with all my sister. Yeah, right. Bullshit. Do you have any friends out here? Right now, I'm by myself. I'm walking. Yeah. Like I'm always do. I always walk by myself. My own kind don't even like me even. Why is that? I don't know. Are you transgender? Nah, I'm real. You're real? I'm like this. What um what res are you from like are you from the reservation? Oh yeah. My sister, my brother, and my dad lived out on the reservation. They live out there. Are you, are you Navajo? <clears throat> yeah. Okay. <clears throat> yes. And how was like your childhood growing up? Eh, not too far back. It's just go now. It was what? I'm not gonna go and sh say everything, and people will know, it and they're gonna focus me, and they're gonna tell me, and they're gonna show all kinds of drama out there. I don't want that. Okay. So you don't want to go into your childhood. Mm -mm. Was it just like, was it good or bad? It was good. It was good. Yeah. No abuse at home, nothing like that. Well, it was nothing different. I don't want to talk about it. I want to hear it. Um, you grew up with both parents? Huh? With both of your mom and dad? Yeah, oh no, I don't have them. No? No, just my dad. My mom, she... She's gone. She's gone? You guys should make a big building just for a shelter. And have a door, 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 door keys, like a gym, gymnasium, whatever. Go back to school. Yeah. Go and go back, or whatever you came from, you know. Even if it. Is that what you think will solve this homelessness problem? So, so. At least they don't have to carry their paperwork. I mean, they're, um, don't, don't even walk in with bed bugs or anything. Just keep it nice and clean and just. That's what I would do. If I if I ever win like how much so much money, I would go. And you would spend it all on the community, on the homeless community. Mm hmm. That's a good thing to do. You have a good heart. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you for this interview. I really do appreciate it. All you right, too. Well. You mean you too? Yeah. Okay.